Hi Gemini, I'm just shoveling the cards and I hope you're well. You come in with the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, also um, the King of Wands. Um, I did keep the notes from last week. Make a decision, I said last week. It seems that you are making decisions um, to become a winner. Uh, yes, you are a winner in your own right. And going from the Fool to the Judgment card, wow, getting a second chance. You are definitely changing lifestyle and attitude. Also, with the Mercury Retrograde coming in on the 21st, um, you are preparing things uh, so that you don't have to deal with authorities and difficult situations in the Mercury retrograde by uh, uh, the look of judgment. You'll be getting a second chance, most probably uh, before the 21st this week. This is up to the 16th. <clears throat> if not, it will be after uh, a couple of weeks. Also, you come in with the Empress. Like I said before, the time is fertile as you've got the Ten of Pentacles the Empress is known as Mother Earth. She sows which, and what you sow you shall reap. But she nurtures her plants, her seedlings, her, uh, her, her animals, the, the kittens, the rabbits, the bunnies um, that you usually see around her feet like the Queen of Pentacles. And the Empress represents Libra. So you might have had an idea in Libra time and it's coming now from Libra. <clears throat> uh, let me see, three months, nine weeks, it's two and a half months, no, it won't be an, um, an, an air sign. The uh, next air sign is Gemini, uh, but we don't have Gemini here. Okay, so definitely um, we did have the three ones here. Now you've got the Empress with three ones, so you've got double numbers. So watch out for one, one, one. This is definitely the divine and angels at work. You could be dealing with a mother figure, a mother-in-law, a grandmother, or your own mother or a mother figure. You could even be finding out um, that you are pregnant if you are a lady of course or if you're a man that your partner is pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions again the same as number 10 family is really important to you also you could be reuniting like i said with your family this could be visiting over easter at your mum's place or your mother-in-law's place or granny's place Time is fertile to start something new, so you could be sowing a new crop, or if you've already sown a crop, you could be harvesting. Like I said, um, there is completion um, on two fronts, and a new beginning, a second chance. So definitely th this is confirming that there will be new beginnings and new decisions to be made. You've also got a nine here, so you've got two nines, the nine of cups and the nine of wands. But I'll get to that once I've started at the beginning. The Empress is the overall energy. So during the whole week, the energy is fruitful and fertile. You've got the six of swords, Gemini, underneath the page of cups. So this is definitely news uh, coming in. Also an offer, so an offer perhaps to... Uh, to uh, start something new that will take you to uh, easier times, quieter times. You're leaving difficult times behind. Like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles, you could be moving home. So is that with the Six of Swords or going on holiday. Both these cards confirm each other. Again, you have the Page of Wands. He represents Sagittarius prominently. That is your 
um, opposite signs, Sagittarius. So you could be meeting or, or dealing with a Sagittarius. It could be Leo or Aries as well. If it is representing Aries and it isn't representing a person, then it could be Aries time. And I feel this could be happening in Aries time because I'm doing this reading now in Aries and we're still for quite a while in Aries. And Aries it is because we've got the King of Wands that represents Aries prominently. Again, it can be Leo or Sagittarius. So I've got a feeling this is definitely Aries time if it isn't a person. There is definitely an ending in Aries time. You've got the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands means don't throw in the towel yet because the light at the end of the tunnel is coming in. You might not be able to see it, but use this time of pause, of healing, um, to get ready and get rejuvenated and healed before you can start this new beginning because there is definitely news and new things coming in. The King of Wands is a very, very determined, uh, powerful, a powerful energy um, to deal with. You need to stand strong in your shoes and um, also and get to know their boundaries. Whether this news is about children, because we, we do have the pregnancy card here, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. So definitely, if you are pregnant now, you, it could be a Sagittarius. Well, it could be a Sagittarius, but that is seven, eight months. Could be, but it will be a very, it could be a premature baby. Okay, so be careful. Take care of yourself. If you find yourself pregnant this month, then it could be a premature baby. If it gets born pre prematurely, then it will be a Sagittarius. Well, but it could be, again, we've got Sagittarius here. It could be Sagittarius here, but, but it's mainly Aries. It could be time. So if you're not meeting any of these people, it could be taking a page out of their book. Don't be naive. Look at this page, looking up to the king. This could be father and child. Uh, the cards aren't sexist, so this can be a father and son or daughter and father seeking an, uh, knowledge. Okay, So you could be hearing about a child or about a birth or a new idea that's been put into the material world and you, you're taking action on it. You're being very strategic like the King of Wands, making plans and being creative. And also, because it is creative time, also very spiritual. They can be very, very spiritual. Okay. They are also uh, people that are swift. You sh they do have a bit of a negative... Uh, um, Description, people say that they never stay long, they're like ships through the night because they're swift and fast, but they are strategic and they know what they do, uh, are doing, and then they take their plans into action. So make sure that you know what you want and what you do, and know your boundaries and know others' boundaries. Now you can't go wrong, don't be the fool, okay? We all have to learn. It takes step by step. We get all, a lot of our knowledge from our mothers and fathers. Okay. So definitely news is coming in. Um, and there is going to be a new lifestyle or home. The lifestyle can change even if you're staying in your old home. But there's definitely movement within the home changing your lifestyle or changing your home it all can also be the spring jitters the spring cleaning jitters and doing up the home so don't worry too much take from the reading what you can now i'm going to throw the dice with the zodiac sign on it and see what comes out and we have um the angel wow 
That's the angel. Let me see. Gemini, Leo. And the angel, I think that represents Virgo. Oh my goodness, yes, I'm right, that's Virgo. But it also reminds me of the angel because of the two wings. Do you see that? So definitely, uh, it looks like if she's holding the twig of olive, bringing in peace. Now, we, we haven't got Virgo, we've got Pisces, we've got Sagittarius, Aries. Aries, Libra. Okay, so there could be a Virgo, a prominent Virgo around you. Uh, they could be passing. This could be a child as well. This could be news from coming from a child about an other person, a Virgo. So you could be meeting or dealing with a Virgo as well. This can be also Virgo time and Libra time last year. Perhaps you were planning or getting ready last year and it didn't go through, so that's why you're going to get the second chance here. Now, I've also got numbers, the dials with numbers, and we've got eight. So that represents uh, the eighth month, the eighth day. This could be the 8th of December. We do have Sagittarius here. This could also be the 12th of the 8th. This could be uh, last year. Have a look what you did last year. Now, adding them all together, this would be number 11. Number 11. And we do have two twice. One, one, one. Okay, number 11. Let me see. We've got number 9 here, not number 11. No, no, definitely. So this is 1-1. One, one. Could be 11 or could be 1-1. One, one. So you do have two cards with 1-1-1 one, one, one and 1-1-1 one, one, one here. Wow. You've got two nines. Um, so nine, and that's quite phenomenal as well. Nine and nine is 18, and 18 becomes nine. So you could be seeing three nines as well. This is quite a magical reading. I always find that the cards work in mysterious ways, but I also am astounded that they always uh, bring out wonderful messages. I hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, extended reading, and let me know, do you like the pendle? Do you like the astronomical, astrological and the numerical dice? Let me see whether you like them and let me know. Have a wonderful week and thank you for your extra support. Trust and believe in me, in us. Bye-bye.